Oh my god, why I look like that? It's cream! Ugh, I ain't gonna pour that much. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Ugh. Oh, I'm excited. I'm What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Tap Theory Reviews. Today, I got a special guest. Let them know who you is. I'm Camille. Again. <laughs> it's me again. If y'all want to know who she is, definitely go check out their Blue Bear Alert video. Absolutely. So today, me and Camille, we diving into this bamboo white cream rum type situation. The bottle, I mean, the bottle is just... It's nice. It's sexy. It is. Lie. It's the white and the gold. It yeah. Just, it's, like yeah. A, it's like a toilet bowl with a gold chain on. <laughs> it's like porcelain. Don't look, don't look porcelain. I mean, yeah, but I wouldn't have. We we gonna say uh, a, a, a bidet. It's like <laughs> pearly white teeth and some gold caps. Okay, I like I like that a go. little better. So that's the description <laughs> oh, for the bottle, y'all. So uh, a little bit about bamboo. Uh, this is uh, it's a product of Panama, so it's from the islands, Caribbean. Uh, pretty much, this is the. I'm assuming the original bamboo mixed with cream. So we're gonna see what that's hitting for. So I will assume we probably be like in the rum chata Bailey type family. Yeah, I love rum chata. You do? And Bailey's. I like it in my coffee. So I feel like this will be great. Really good coffee. in coffee. Or like hot chocolate. Yeah. And see that's why I chose you for this review. Because uh, you be always at Starbucks. I love Starbucks. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and crack this bottle open and uh, tell the people what you like if you go to the liquor store, like what you get, like what you gonna buy. Oh, well, um, if you would have asked me that question probably about this time last year, um, Crown, anything, if I'm going to the liquor store, I'm getting a bottle of Crown. Um, but lately, if I go to the liquor store, I am getting Tito's or um, I like it had a nice little pop. A little sort of pop. Um, Tito's or like a Prosecco. I've been really big on my this sparkling. Point. Yeah, I've been really big on my sparkling wines, my champagnes, my Proseccos lately, and my seltzers. So, have you tried Cahill seltzer? I have. You like them? Oh my God! Why I look like that? It's cream. Ugh, I ain't gonna pour that much. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Ugh. Oh, I'm excited. Oh my God! <laughs> Worked it off. Oh, I'm so excited. This is gonna be great. But yeah, the cat head, it's it's they're good. Some are better than others. Um, but overall, I liked it. Oh yeah, this is gonna be real good with some coffee. I can already tell. I didn't think it was gonna be this color. Like it's like a You thought it was gonna be white? Yeah, I thought it's like chocolate milk. Well yeah. It's gonna be great. A little bit more. I can't really see. But sure, if you think you can do a little bit more. Because I know I'm going to like it. Make sure y'all go subscribe to Tap <laughs> <the> Reviews. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, usual Tap the Reviews, we pick it up and smell it. Pick up your, uh, your nice little neat glass. Don't swirl it around. So, yeah, of course it's going to stick to the glass, y'all. It's creamy. Like, it just, it just leaves a residue. That's what he said. <laughs> it smells <laughs> oh. <laughs> I had to get you back. You got me earlier, so... At least I got you on camera. Okay, I don't like the smell. I actually like the smell. Hold on. I don't. It smells like it smells like a spiked chocolate milk, kind of with, with with cinnamon on the back end. Like it smells. It smells okay, so that's the, the 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 toilet bowl analogy. I agree with the smell. So you say it smells like boo boo. Um, it doesn't smell like boo boo. It smells like. I think you're gonna like it though. I I don't disagree. Yeah. I think I'm gonna really like how it tastes. I'm just not a big fan of the smell. Um but it does smell spicy. Yeah, it's like it's, cinnamony. What's in it? Uh it doesn't say. So I'm assuming like the spices is in bamboo but with cream, so maybe. Probably. It do smell like it smell like Christmas to me a little bit. Like almost like gingerbread cookies. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Pine trees and gingerbread cookies. There we go. Let's uh let's tap this in. What you want to tap this in? Oh, the percent is uh like fifteen percent alcohol by volume, so it's a cream. So that's what you gonna expect. Uh, this will be in Mississippi soon. I uh, a, a friend of mine gave me this bottle, 
and uh, he said it'll be Mississippi soon, but I'm one of the first ones in Mississippi with this, so tap their views. Uh, let's go. Let's toast this. What are we toasting this to? Christmas. We toast this to Christmas, y'all. <laughs> Christmas in June. Christmas in June. I'm just gonna take a little sip. Oh, this is so good. I bet you like it. Oh, this is so good. Oh my God. You know what? We 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 gonna say, we gonna talk about this neat yeah, we're gonna go to the rocks and then we're gonna talk about it. It's gonna be better on the rocks. I hope. I think I wanna save that and dump it on the rocks. It tastes like a snickerdoodle. Okay. Cookie. It damn it, it kinda do. Like it. The taste not bad, it's just the texture. It's like You don't like creamy stuff in your mouth? <laughs> Do you like creamy stuff in your mouth? This, yeah. <laughs> it's great. Nah, I'm not I'm not a uh unless it's milk. Okay, this is so good. Oh, this is so good. I'm glad you like it. I let do. Me, let me square my uh get this cold as possible. It ain't bad, y'all. It's just the texture. It's like it tastes like it's supposed to be in coffee. Like you really do. Like a uh, what what the girls be uh like the uh, pumpkin spice type deal. Yeah, I love pumpkin spice. I bet you do. I do. <laughs> so and this will be really good in like some. Okay, you go to Starbucks, get you a venti iced coffee. Yeah. Heavy on the ice, and no cream. Get that, and then just pour this on top of it for your cream. Would you Would you drink this on on, on your way to work? Like in your coffee? No. You would be lit lit. <laughs> I wouldn't drink it on my way to work. <laughs> <laughs> she capped for the camera, y'all. No. Hey, let's toast this to uh capping on the camera. <laughs> Not capping. Oh yeah. It's a lot better on the ice. Oh side. yes. It's like <laughs> Oh, this is so good. It almost give. It's like it tastes like it tastes like cereal milk, kinda. It does. Yeah, like like Captain Crunch cereal milk. Yeah, like not Captain Crunch, cinnamon toast. Crunch. Cinnamon toast crunch, yeah, not Captain Crunch. That shit make you the oof for your mouth hurt, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> mouth be so after eating Captain Crunch. <laughs> All bears. It does. It tastes like cinnamon toast crunch milk. You know what I want to try? You say it's just taste like cinnamon toast crunch. We gonna do some little, little spicy, y'all. Oh, you want to try this? I want to try to put a little fireball in this and see what it tastes like. Oh, it's gonna be great. Let me uh, I'm gonna grab this little, little shot thing of fireball. Oh shoot, drop. So we got fireball. So hopefully, bamboo cream and fireball taste like cinnamon toast crunch. We claiming it. It's gonna be real. You heard it here first, folks. This is gonna be a real, y'all. In a, in a, uh, in a TikTok. This is gonna be fantastic. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Cinnamon toast crunch. Because you know, is it rum chata and fireball? That's the, supposed to say cinnamon like, toast crunch. Yeah, so we're gonna say bamboo. Cream and fireball cinnamon toast crunch. Let's go. Let's toast. Let's toast the cinnamon toast crunch. Breakfast. Oh, this is. It's 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 all right. I think I might need to add a little bit more, more cream, cream to mine. Yeah. It's so yeah. fucking gritty. This is delicious. I could see myself drinking this. For like a Saturday morning brunch. Yeah. So if you was to compare this to rum chata, would you take this over rum chata? Absolutely. Okay. So uh, hands down. On a scale of one to ten, in the world of cream liqueurs, what would this be? Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> and see, I haven't had many cream liqueurs. I think I've had rum chata, and I might have had Bailey's. And I see, I like Bailey's. Normally, when I do um like my spiked hot chocolates i use bailey's yeah. and it's really good and when i do like a spiked coffee 
I'll use rum chata. Okay. Because I don't know what it is. It's like the chocolate and Bailey's, it just mixes way better. Yeah. And the rum chata and the coffee flavor mixes a lot better, in my opinion. Um, but this. Y'all, it's if you like creamy stuff and you like that, like coffee and all that hot chocolate stuff, she like. Yeah, this, this is perfect. This is good, y'all. I, I can't even cap like, the, like I just don't like the creamy texture, but the flavor itself is unique. It doesn't taste like rum chop to me. It doesn't taste like Bailey's to me. Like it's 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 in its own lane. Like, but I think the price point on this bike, like like thirty four dollars though. I would pay that. You pay absolutely. And see, I'm, because like a big bottle of Bailey's might run you about the same, if not more. Yeah. So. And see, the only reason I wouldn't pay mainly because it's fifteen percent, and I'm not a cream person. Like, but if y'all a cream person, hey, yeah, like this is like a this is a way better version than Bailey's and, and rum chowder, depending on like what you mix it with. It's so good. And then the fireball, like it's just a, it's, it's a different feel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, honestly, I feel like the um, like the cinnamonyness. I just made a word <laughs> <laughs> of the fireball, kind of toned down some of the spiciness in this. Yeah, and so it just it's really mellow. Yeah, like you, I could sip on this. Do you like what really fireball? Drunk. Yeah. I like to buy itself. I would like. What, you, really what about eggnog? Like, you think it's a go-do with eggnog? Maybe I don't. Mm, I never had eggnog. No, because eggnog is. You know, maybe that's why I like this so much. Because I like eggnog and rum, and so it's basically like the texture of an eggnog with the rum already in this bottle. Okay, so this is so this is essentially eggnog, kind of. Texture-wise, yeah. Okay. Um. So I wouldn't mix this with eggnog, but I would use this as a substitute for the eggnog for like a spiked eggnog yeah. kind of drink. And I wonder what it probably be good with rum too, like this and bamboo and the original bamboo. Yeah. Matter of fact, let me grab these bamboo bottles, put them all side by side so y'all can see the line of bamboo. So bamboo, like they, they great with the the presentation. Like yeah. they got the the uh the icy whites with the uh gold teeth. Yeah, gold all in my, my mouth. Chain. Yeah, what gold I all in my she brain. know it, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course, the original bamboo, which is by far the the best bamboo. And you know, bamboo XO, it's it's in there somewhere. It can stand up to regular wrongs, but you know, it ain't my favorite. You know what I'm saying? But this is my go to. I would definitely, I probably choose this over that. But you know, that's enough for bamboo, y'all. This done, is great. We done compared this thing to so many things. I don't think we need to do a comparison. No. But you like, know, this is so good. I'm probably gonna put it in my purse when I leave. <laughs> okay, maybe not. But still, it's that good. I think my mom would even like this. I, you know, you know what? I might let you have. Well, make sure I think so. With claim liqueurs, like, do you have the refrigerator? Yes. So you might need to put this in the refrigerator as soon as you. Yeah. Uh, um. Does it say refrigerator? Shit. Does it say refrigerator after? It probably don't, but we probably need to. Yeah, it's only fifteen percent. Yeah. So oh. Uh, you probably don't necessarily have to, but probably after opening, yeah, I would, I would suggest it. Yeah. Because it has cream. You don't yeah, want it. You don't want that shit to be spoiled. No. you just be ruined. This so, great. use your tap there review since you've been drinking a little bit. It's time for you to share your two turn story on tap there reviews. But before she share her two turn story, y'all, I need y'all to go hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. Like, what was y'all first thought when we pulled this in the glass and it was this cold? Make sure y'all leave a comment. So, we're gonna wait a little minute and let y'all come in, and then we're gonna be right back. Okay, we're back. So, two turn store. <laughs> I'm gonna go and put my wrist mine on this ice and uh, I'm gonna let you uh, show your two turn store. Okay, my two turn story. I have several, but um, I'm just gonna go with this one. So, one night, uh, me and one of my friend girls, we decided that we were gonna go to M Bar. This was probably like 
two, three years ago or so. Um, and we were at in bar. We had been drinking. We had been having a really good time. But the way that we were parked when we came out, somebody had like blocked my friend like literally parked behind her car yeah so she couldn't get out and of course we was drunk so um we were like okay well somebody got me that car next thing you know i don't know if i like this flip just switched in me or what but next thing you know we was back inside i was up at the dj booth Telling them like I had gotten the person's tag number and everything like the type of car it was and told them hey You need to tell this person that they need to come and move their car um, So we can leave Well, the DJ kind of like pushed me off. Well, not pushed me physically, but just kind of like Move brushed me off. off. Um, and I was like, oh, hell no <laughs> So, um, and the way he treats you like a flat box. Right <laughs> So, um I went back outside and I got the security guard and I was like, hey, um, it's a car over here. They need to move because we're trying to leave. And if they're not out in five minutes, I'm keying they shit. Next thing you know, my friend, <laughs> I know, I know. Um, my friend, true story. I, but like, you can ask my home girl. Um, she grabbed me and she was like, no, Camille, come on, like, let's go they'll get them you know whatever whatever and i was like no and i mean just going all oh, next thing you know i'm cussing out the security guard um police officer whatever yeah um and he was like ma'am you know just calm down i didn't go to jail okay or nothing um but i was really shocked that he let me get in my car and drive off why would we be i was drunk oh yeah it's fucked up like I was really drunk and like literally had pulled out my keys and was about to key this person's car that I have no idea who they who they were. Um I'm well, assuming you made it home, so Yeah, I made it home. Okay. Yeah. You I'm here. I'll take yeah. your reviews. So do not drink and drive <laughs> people. Um and if you do go out and drink, make sure you have a responsible designated driver because we do not condone drinking and driving we or underage don't. drinking for that don't. matter um but yeah yeah we don't we don't do that on tap interviews i think that's the only two turk story that i can actually share on the internet oh that's that's cool yeah we will we'll, we'll, i want to hear the <laughs> other one when the camera go off <laughs> but y'all listen that's definitely two turns like i would you you about to keep some yeah i was gonna keep some car. Yeah. And cussed out the police officer, but you know, hey, that's Jackson for you. It is. Hey, it's, it's our city though. Well, my city. I don't know about you. Y'all playing Jackson? I mean, yeah. Okay, let's go. We we don't go too deep into it because I don't I don't want to get pissed off on camera. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so y'all, that's been the review on Bumble Cream. Make sure y'all go subscribe to Camille channel. I'm we'll gonna put it over ahead. The little subscribe thing. Make sure y'all get me to a thousand subscribers in this uh four thousand watch hours. I need about ten more subscribers and like maybe like seven hundred watch hours, but we'll we'll get there. Like it sounds like a lot, but it really ain't. No. Nope. So listen, y'all make sure y'all uh play tap the reviews when you sleep. And uh you got any uh final words or reviews? This was great. When it gets here you need to go buy it or you need to go order it or whatever. Um The okay. bottle is beautiful. Yeah. Like it's 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 not bad. I would definitely like keep it as like my cream liqueur on hand because like I wouldn't use it that much, but I would definitely have it on hand. Uh, that's about it. Uh, I, I like it. Oh, we didn't. Did we write it? We didn't write it. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You tripping? Yeah. Oh, you you gave it eleven. I did. You that's gave right. it eleven, but uh, you didn't write it. I didn't write it. Uh, out of cream liqueurs, I would give it um. You know what? It, it, Seven point nine. Like, like it's I'm because I'm not a cream liqueur person. Like out of all the cream liqueurs I've had, it will be the best. And I feel like seven point nine is my cap as far as I can go on a cream liqueur. This will be it. Now let something else come along better. But like my cap is seven point nine on cream liqueurs. I can't go to an eight because I don't like them. But seven point nine, y'all. But definitely, if you like cream liqueur, it's it's damn good. 
But that's been another episode of Tap Air Reviews. Camille, I'm glad you came through. I feel like I'm famous now because I'm in the in the oh presence God. of somebody that's uh a TikTok and real God. No, <laughs> absolutely not. But absolutely yeah, not. any ladies that y'all need some help with your natural hair products and just need suggestions, go check out her YouTube page. Of course, if you need liquor suggestions, check out Tap Air Reviews. And we out this time, y'all. Peace.